Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my coming out story. We talked a little bit about it in a previous video, but not the whole thing. So I'm going to be talking about that today. So in 2016, I came out to my parents as genderqueer, which I talked about, um, which I said they were not very supportive about. Um, in the slightest, they thought it just meant gay, or they didn't understand it at all. I tried to explain it to them, but they weren't getting it. Um, and then, 2020, early 2020, I was by myself a lot, um, and I was able to think and process my feelings and emotions, um, which I talked about that, saying that I felt gender fluid, um, and so I would switch between male, female, and non-binary, and eventually over time, I just felt non, non-binary to female, and then over time, I just felt female was the most comfortable feeling, and that is how I found that out. So, four years it took, but I felt these feelings longer. I just never told anybody, I guess. So, when I finally started telling people, I told my brother first. I told, uh, um, co-worker from the past, so an ex-co-worker that I used to work with, and I told my ex, uh, or ex because of this, um, which I knew would happen anyway, um, yeah, still civil, the, the whole thing, um, but yeah, it was a good call for me to make. Um, I can live my life how I want to now, everyone in my family knows, everyone at my work knows, uh, which I will talk about that in, uh, store, in another video about coming out to people, their reactions, all that. Um, so yeah, that's about it, that's how I did it, uh, that's how I found out. And I think next week I'm going to talk about people's reactions and how you can deal with those. And yeah, so that's about it. So I just found out on my own pretty much. First person that I ever confessed um, feeling trapped, feeling not in my own body, was actually a teacher. Uh, we had to write this thing, and I showed it to them, and, yeah, so they were pretty much like the first person I told, which I might go into more detail about that, but yeah, so, if you're ever feeling anything, tell someone, and the more people you tell, the more comfortable you will feel, and yeah, as long as you are in a safe environment, that is important, and if you don't feel safe, don't do it. If you do feel safe, then why not? So yeah, as always, stay frozen in my frozen news. I'll see you next time. Links to my Twitch and Twitter are down in the description. And yeah, as always, stay frozen.